Strike among the airport's restaurant workers officially started an hour ago. So Maria is joining us live from the airport with a closer look as to why and how long it could last. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. They are fighting for better wages, better benefits. We are here live outside of Terminal 4, where the group has now grown to about a dozen or so people. That includes Starbucks employees. So if you're going to try to head to the airport today, better stop to get a cup of coffee and a snack before you get here, because some of those restaurants will actually be closed. Looks like there are more workers joining us this morning, but I do want to introduce you real quick to Maria Rios. She's 75 years old. She's a food service prep worker. She doesn't speak English, so we're going to talk to her translator here. This is Maria Hernandez. We are a bunch of Marias this morning. Uh, talk to me a little bit about her situation. Why is she out here today? So Maria Rios is one of the many workers that have given decades of their life to this company, HMS Host. They are the largest concession company in North America. Maria is 75. She should be able to retire right now. She does not, doesn't even have a pension, right? And it's one of the big things that workers like her have chosen out here to be on strike to fight for that, to be able to retire and be able to afford to retire with dignity and respect. And one of the big things as well that's really important for her is health care. I mean, she just, she's fighting ovarian cancer right now. Why did she have to stop chemo treatment? At the beginning of the pandemic, like many of us, you know, she was laid off. And the company, HMS Host, cut her health care. When you're laid off, you're not making enough money, you're already trying to survive. She had to cut her ovarian cancer treatment uh, because she couldn't afford it, right? And she just went back to work two months ago after a year and a half of being laid off while her employer received millions and millions of rent relief from the city, right? What about the relief from Maria Rios and her coworkers, right? So they're taking this brave step because it is not easy to decide to go on strike. And so she is out here and she will be out here along with her coworkers until the company meets their demands and they could do that at any moment. Okay, and one of her coworkers, or actually when another HMS host, we've got an uh, employee, Starbucks barista, you, you're not gonna be handing people out coffee this morning. This is Victoria Stahl. Uh, so talk to me about the situation you're in. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a difficult one, right? Like, I want to make sure that I'm serving passengers and I'm giving them, you know, the coffees that they want. Everybody wants a coffee before they get on a flight. Um, but at the end of the day, like, I have to stand up for myself and for my family um, and fight to make sure that I have, like, a decent life and I can actually make a decent wage. But why during the one of the busiest weeks of the year? So we've been in contract negotiations for, you know, over four years. Um, I personally have been involved in the last six months. And since I've been involved, I've slowly seen the conversation start to de deteriorating to a point where the company is just clearly not listening to us anymore. HMS is just not listening. Um, we've been very clear about the things that we need um, and the things that my coworkers need in order to survive. Um, and it's just fallen on deaf ears. But HMS host did come out with a statement saying they're offering a 12% raise. Did you, have you seen that? For my coworkers, that equals 10 cents. That's not enough for all the hard work that we have been doing for the last two years during this pandemic to make sure that we keep the doors open, to make sure passengers continue to get served, and to continue to make sure that Sky Harbor is America's friendliest airport, right? But we're not being treated that way by our company, which is why we're taking a stand. Okay, Victoria, thanks for sharing your frustrations. Again, HMS Host says they have a contingency plan in place. So if you are coming to the airport, they have prepackaged foods for customers to be able to grab and go. They have self-pay stations. But HMS really pinning this on the picketers, saying that they're really hurting travelers during one of the biggest weeks of the year. Guys, they're going to be out here all morning long. We are going to be out here all morning long covering this and how this impacts you and maybe anyone visiting you for the Thanksgiving holiday.